And so differences of squares can get trickier. In this case, we don't have the classic quadratic form, but we do have basically a term that's squared here and a term that's squared here. And so we can factor this just as a difference of squares. And you can see that in this square, there's a 4x squared. In this square, there's a minus 16y squared. And so 2x and 2x goes in this box. And plus 4y minus 4y. It wouldn't matter actually what order these things would be done in. And if I want to satisfy myself that I have actually factored this, I can see that this is plus 8xy and this is minus 8xy. So those two terms would cancel and I would be left with this. And so it's a relatively easy way to factor the difference of squares just by inspection.